I did uh, hair and makeup on dead people. It was the ad in the paper. <laughs> and I was, I'm, I'm a licensed beautician as well, because I went to beauty school. It's a rough gig, I think. You have to be a certain kind of person, and you have to love people in order to make them worthy of a great send-off. You know, you have to get it. And so uh, the guy who worked for um, was very funny because he said, uh, I want you to come downstairs and talk to me. So, you know, go downstairs. In the old days, they used to have these big, thick doors, wooden doors, and go in and kind of chilly in the room. And they have these drawers. And so I go in, and he's not in there. And I'm sitting, I'm waiting, and, and I hear, <laughs> And I'm thinking, what is that sound? What is that? <laughs> so my brain is saying, hey, that's not a sound we should be hearing right now. And as I start to look around, I see that one of the drawers is moving. And it's moving out. It's opening. One of the drawers is, <laughs> is opening. And as my brain puts together the fact that the drawer is opening, we don't see anybody pulling the drawer open. At the same time, I'm getting up to run because I'm, it's all coming together at the same time. The drawer is really open, and this thing happens where I see this. Hello there. And I run, boom, into the door. Knock myself out. And when I came back, you know, I had a, a bit of a lump, and it was my boss. And he said, now the worst thing that you could imagine has happened. That's it. That's the worst thing that can happen. It's already happened. So you're fine? You still want to work? So, yeah. It was the greatest. It was the greatest. And he said that because most people come in, and if they're there working by themselves, you know, it's very easy to get spooked because you hear noises, and then, you, you know, you think you see someone's moving or an eyelid goes up or something, you know, and it's in your head. But once he did that, I was fine.